Okay, so in our previous chapter, we had used VPN gateway with static routing. In this particular chapter, we'll use BGP routing instead of static routing. So why do you need BGP routing? So if you go back and look at your VPC network, if in case you added new subnets to your particular VPC, then to make your VPN gateways work, you would need to manually add these particular routes again in your route table. So instead of doing that, what we can do instead is we can create BGP routing that would automatically and dynamically create routes for you whenever new subnets get added or removed. So let's see how this is done. So let's go back to our VPN again. But before we create our BGP protocol, let's look at what we're going to do. So what we're going to do is at both ends, we're going to create a router. And these routers are going to have an ASN number to represent both the networks. And these ASN numbers are going to be shared with each other. And along with the ASN number, we are also going to share a link local address between both these routers. And these link local addresses and these ASN numbers would enable routes to be shared between both these particular networks. So let's look at how this is done in real time. So let's go back to our console. So currently you can see that there's already a tunnel created from a previous example. Now this is not a BGP, but a route based tunnel. And similarly at the other end, at the other project, we've done the same as well. Now what we need to do first is we'll just remove both these tunnels. So let's click on this and let's delete the tunnel and let's create a new tunnel. Let's click on delete tunnel at both the ends. And you can still see that the VPN gateway exists. So all that we need to do again is create a new tunnel and this time using our BGP protocol. So if you go back to the other project as well, you can see that the tunnel has been removed. So what we'll do is we'll go back to our first project again. Let's click on create VPN tunnel and we'll do the same process. So we already have a VPN gateway connected, created. So let's click on continue. And now again, we'll do the same process while creating the tunnel. So this is going to be the remote peer IP address. So let's go back to our second project. Let's get the IP address. So this is the static IP that we have. Let's copy this. Let's paste it here. And similarly, let's generate a pre-shared key. And let's save it somewhere. And this time what we need to do is instead of choosing route, we'll create a dynamic based routing option. So let's create a new router here. So I'll just call this as my router. And here I need to give the Google ASN number. So if I look back at the diagram, what I need to do is I need to set this particular ASN number for my first network. So this is the router for my first network and I need to set the ASN number. So let's just set this as 64500. And let's click on create. So basically there's an error. So you can only set it from 64512. So let's just set this as 64512 itself and let's click on create. So I will note down the ASN for this particular network somewhere. So let's just note that down. So the ASN for our first network is 64512. And now what we need to do is we need to set the BGP session. So let's click on this and let's just call this as my BGP session. And here I need to set the peer ASN number. So what I will do is I will create a peer ASN later on. But meanwhile, I will set this particular ASN number here itself. So what I will do is I will select the next number. So what I will do is I will just select 64513. So I will create it when I create my router in my second network. So for the time being, let's just set that number as 64513. So I'll also make an entry over here. So the ASN for my second network is 64513. So if I go back to the diagram, what I'm going to set is this particular number as 64513 for our second network. Okay, so that is done. So let's go back now again to our and here I need to set the BGP IP address. So this is a link local address that would be used to share routes between both the routers. So the default here is 169.250.401. So let's set this as the same. And the BGP peer IP address also, we'll set this as 
254.0.2. Now, these, this particular peer address I need to set at my other end as well. So, all that I have done here is I've set the peer ASN number as well as the BGP link address, uh, link local address that would be used to share route between both the routers. So, now let's click on save and continue. And let's create. And now, if you go back to the tunnel, the main page, let's go back to our VPN again. And if you click on the tunnel, you can see that it is getting configured. So for the time being, what we'll do is we'll go back to our second network and we'll make the same configuration again. So let's go to our VPN here. We'll create a VPN tunnel again. Click on VPN tunnel. Now again, we need to choose the VPN peer IP address. So let's go back to our external for our first network external IP address. So we'll just copy this and paste it over here. There. And similarly, the shared key that we had. And we'll make the same setting for the router as well. So let's click on create new router. Let's just call this as my router. And this ASN number again would be this particular ASN number that we need to set. So let's copy this. Now remember that this particular number was used for peering the ASN number at the other end. So you need to make sure that, that it is this particular number and nothing else. So let's click on create now. And finally, lastly, what we need to do is we need to set up the BGP session. So let's click on this. So let's just call this as my BGP session. And now the peer ASN number would be the ASN number that we had used in our previous network. So let's copy this, let's paste it here. And similarly, the BGP IP address also would be the same. So here the peer, here the BGP IP address would be the peer IP address that we had used in our previous network. And similarly, the peer here would be the BGP IP address that we had used in our previous network. So all that I need to do is again, I'll just make this as 169. So I just need to select the 02. And here I just need to choose the 01. So it just changes, that's all. So the peer here would be the main BGP IP there. And similarly, the main BGP IP over here for our second network would be the peer over there. So what we've done is if you go back to the diagram, we have linked the ASNs together and we have linked these particular BGP remote peer IP addresses together. And using this, now the BGP can share routes between both these networks. So let's click on create now at this end as well. And let's create this particular tunnel. And once your BGP has been established, you will get an icon over here saying established as well as your BGP session has been established. And similarly, if you go back to a first network, you should get the same information as well. So let's do a VPN here. So you'll get the same information. So now let's go back to our routes and let's see what has changed over there. If you go to the dynamic routes now, you can see that there is an entry over here as well. So it dynamically adds the route over here. And similarly for the second network, if you go back to your routes, and if you click on the dynamic tab, you see an entry over here. So this is basically the route for our first network. And similarly, this is the route for our second network. So what I'll do now is I'll go back to my second network, that is this particular project, and I'll add a new subnet. And let's see what happens once we add a new subnet. So let's go back to our VPC networks. Let's add a new subnet for this particular VPC. So let's click on Edit. I'll add a subnet. So let's just call this as my new subnet and let's add a range of 10.0.1.0 slash 24 and the region that we'll choose would be let's say let's make it us west one and let's click on add so now this particular route will be automatically propagated in my fest network so let's refresh this and let's see whether that has happened so if I go back to my first network again, and if I refresh this, 
now you can see that this particular new route has been added over here so that is the advantages of you advantage of using your bgp session so any new route that gets auto created will be automatically added over here so you do not need to go and manually add those particular routes so that's it for this lecture i hope this was useful again if you have any doubts get in touch with me that's it for this one i'll see you in the next